Dominic Na and Insall Park, truly world-class musicians. Um, I was so blown away by their talent and their passion for teaching when I first met them. And we just had almost an in instant synergy and share of ideas to bring an old world conservatory experience here to the Ozark Mountains and then have the, the novel idea of not having that be a financial burden to students who may want to take part. When we established our conservatory, we knew we would have to do a lot of out-of-the-box thinking, especially with the pandemic happening almost simultaneously. We needed to be able to really use our imaginations to not sacrifice the quality of what we wanted to do, but to just change it and be able to meet the needs of the people around us. everyone and welcome to the Parkna competition for violin and cello. My name is Sonia Kinzer and I'm the executive director and co-founder of the conservatory. I want to take this time to welcome all of you from all parts of the world. Thank you for joining us here in the Ozark Mountains in lovely Bentonville, Arkansas. We're so delighted to bring to you today's finalists for our 2021 Crystal Cup competition. Um, it's been an amazing pool of talent, and we are so fortunate and happy to showcase that for you today. A word about our organization. As a registered 501c3, we do rely heavily on the generosity of our arts-minded donors to help partner with us as we cultivate that next level, next generation of young classical music artists, knowing that anything that is donated and contributed will be pushed right back into the community. Our communities really aren't separated by distance any longer, and that's part and partial why we can bring you this kind of event. This will be an annual event, and next year we're so excited to be able to bring in our winner to perform here in Northwest Arkansas. That's going to be part of our, our prize. Um, that's going to be an immense gift for our community, and we really look forward to it. So whether you're um, thinking about making a one-time donation or considering uh, a monthly sponsorship, know that our conservatory students receive 100% scholarship to study with our esteemed faculty. Our preparatory program, which is designed for kids who are not musically ready for the conservatory, they study with our that same faculty and it's a 50% scholarship. It's an amazing opportunity for kids in this area. And then we have summer programming um, where we will have an intensive 10 day chamber camp, uh, one here, Strings in the Ozarks, and Strings on the Vineyard in Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. So uh, there's something for everyone and we appreciate your consideration in supporting our efforts to just make an impact in our little corner of the world. And we thank you for joining us today. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Enza Park. I'm a founding artistic director of the Partner Conservatory of Violin and Cello. I'm very excited for our first virtual international competition for young violinists and cellists. In spite of the current coronavirus disease pandemic, which has created with many challenges, we're truly grateful and feel fortunate to be able to host this competition virtually and safely. We're hopeful that we will be able to operate in-person events in the near future without worrying about safety and able to have live classical music in Northwest Arkansas, where our nonprofit organization is located. The purpose of our competition is to recognize, 
and to promote the world's finest stream musicians. And by doing so, we can bring the world of classical music to the residents and the community of Northwest Arkansas. I also was very pleased to serve as one of juries this year. I was blown away by the level of this year's applicants. So many young talented stream players throughout the world and every single competitor has so much to offer. So congratulations to all of those applicants who competed in this year's partner virtual competition. I really enjoyed listening to all. And I have Dominic Na today, right here next to me. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Depends where you are tuning in right now. Because we had so many applicants from more than 10 different countries. My name is Dominic Na. I am one of the founding artistic directors of the Partner Conservatory of Violin and Cello. And I also had the privilege to serve as a judge for this year's competition. It was fun and exciting to see and listen to so many talented artists. As Unza mentioned earlier, it's been a tough time, especially for musicians and performing artists going through this pandemic situation for over a year now. This was one of the reasons that our nonprofit Parkna Conservatory decided to host the competition 100% virtually. Even though there is some revival of concert series for professional classical musicians these days, with many safety restrictions, it's still hard for young potential musicians to find the opportunity to perform for the public. We wanted to provide that opportunity to young classical string players so they continue to get inspired and motivated to keep practicing and developing their musicality during this isolation. To all participants, we hope that your experience with our competition has been a good and memorable one. We had such a great time getting to know every applicant through your performances and wonderful musicianship. It feels like we've known all of you for such a long time. Thank you for your hard work, your music and support. Let me introduce you to our special jury panel for this year's competition. Andres Diaz, professor of cello at the Southern Methodist University, current chair at the Royal Conservatory of Music. Dominic Na, professor of cello at the University of Arkansas, artistic director of the Partna Conservatory. Felix Oshovka, associate dean for operations and professor of violin at the University of North Texas. Enza Park, chairman of the Partner International Competition, artistic director of the Partner Conservatory. Jonathan Tsai, professor of piano at the University of Memphis. I really want to express my sincere thanks to our jury members for their contribution, dedication, and time. Now we are so thrilled to give you our top five finalists. This is the program order in which you will hear their performances. And the order is Katharina Auer, violin, Jorge Jimenez Cerdo, cello, William Johnson, cello, Joshua Kovic, cello, Isaac Liu, cello. Each finalist will perform one movement of selected Mozart or Haydn concerto. At this time, we're opening a poll for our audience who are watching. This poll is for a special audience prize awarded to each instrument among our five finalists. Our poll is located under the video portion of this presentation or you can find the provided link to visit. You may start voting for your favorite artist now. 
It will be available now until the end of our presentation. Once the live streaming has ended, the poll will be closed simultaneously. We'll announce this audience prize award on our webpage under competition the following day. Please sit back and enjoy our finalists. Best of luck to all our performers.
Hello, my name is Jonathan Tsai, professor of piano at the University of Memphis. I want to congratulate all of the applicants to the 2021 International Park Na competition for their awe-inspiring virtuosity and their compelling artistry. Your performances are an inspiration and a true illustration of the Park Na Conservatory's mission of bringing world-class artistry to the Northwest Arkansas area. Through my experiences over the last year recording at the Crystal Bridges Museum, and serving alongside my fellow esteemed jury members for this inaugural competition, I can see that the groundwork that has been laid out by Dominic, Yunseo, and Sonia is already making great positive changes through their community initiatives and generous scholarship opportunities for young musicians around the Northwest Arkansas area and soon to the musical world at large. Thank you. And again, I am grateful for the opportunity to experience such wonderful music making from this year's competitors.
Hello everyone, warm greetings from the University of North Texas here in beautiful Denton. My name is Felix Nochovka, I'm the Associate Dean for Operations and Professor of Violin in the College of Music. A big thank you to Enser Park and Dominic Nahn for inviting me to be one of the adjudicators in the inaugural Park Nahn competition for violin and cello. I had a wonderful time reviewing the video submissions and was truly inspired by the level of playing of all participants. The nature of competitions is that we as uh, judges can only award a certain number of prizes, but I believe all participants in this year's competition are true winners. Congratulations to everyone and keep up the good work. Best wishes.
The first question, Andres, is you had a lot of, lot of experience uh, with national and international competition. What competition do you remember the most? Obviously, the, the, the big one was the one in, uh, in New York, uh, in Naumburg, in 1986. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I made it a point to, uh, to do as many competitions as I could uh, every year in, uh, in, uh, in Boston when I was a student. Because I don't think anything else made me practice as much. Uh, and certainly Naumburg was one that was sort of in the, right in the front of my mind because my, one of my uh, professors won the one before I did. Uh, so that was, that was kind of a, a I guess, a, a, in, in the back of my mind, it was a goal to, to, to enter the Naumburg competition. And that's, that's sort of, that was sort of the, I was playing already a, a good many concerts before Naumburg, but after Naumburg, then things really escalated. Um, as you know, our requirements for this competition for our applicants were uh, Bach and Haydn for cellists. Uh, what would be your advice for all the applicants and young musicians regarding this repertoire? Well, it's, it's a, actually, it's a great idea to have them uh, play some solo Bach. And, and then, of course, you know, Haydn concerto where uh, it, these are pieces where you can't hide right uh it just it shows uh how uh, deep un uh, how deep the understanding is of the music uh and you know in the bach depending on the student you could hear it one way and then hear the exactly the same uh movement played by somebody else and it could it could be quite quite different uh just a complete different uh interpretation uh and i'm of the school that you know, everybody should have their own way of, of playing this music. Uh, you know, in the, in the, as far as the Haydn is concerned, it's interesting because if you look at, at uh, some of the, uh, some of the uh, editions that, that, that are a little bit more true to exactly how he wrote the piece, there's not a slur to be found in any of that music. So a lot of the stuff that we do is actually more, much more personal. Uh, so, uh, I want, well, the box suites, you know, we have a pretty good idea, but that's, you know, the, 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 unfortunately, the, 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 the original scores of the suites have never been found at this point. We have uh, participants uh, age between 13 to 20, and uh, we would like to hear, um, you know, your childhood, and if there's any... Um, advice for our students. Obviously, you know, our um, young musicians is going to be our future. So, and you are uh, maintaining your career in uh, world-class playing for a long time. So what would be your ad advice to maintain uh, your level and for, for the career for young musicians? Uh, uh, two words, hard work. <laughs> Just, you know, st stay, stay on it. Uh, um, I, I was, you know, you, you mentioned my childhood. I, I, I remember when we when we came to the United States from uh, from Chile. I was nine, and uh, I was working on the Sassos A minor concerto. And in order to be able to compete in the in the uh, youth orchestra in Atlanta, uh, in their concerto competition, I had to join the orchestra, which I, I think was a little bit of a disaster for the orchestra because I had never played an orchestra before. Uh, and so anyway, I did, I did audition for the concerto competition and I won. And so I actually played when I was nine, I played my first concerto. I played the, the whole, uh, Sassons concerto and it was, it was just, I, I, I became sort of addicted to that, the, the energy that one gets playing with an orchestra. It's just such a different thing, right? Uh, it's, it's like a playing with a, like a monster pianist, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I would say, you know, the best thing, best advice I could give to all these young people is just stay on it, uh, be patient, uh, work hard, uh, try to find as many different outlets, uh, to go, uh, 
towards in, in, in music. Uh, it's you know, music is not just playing concertos. It's also playing uh, recitals. It can be playing an orchestra. It can be playing chamber music. Um, it can be uh, it can be teaching. Would you like to say uh, hello to our competitors and how your experience or um, your impression was towards our competitor competitors this year? Yes, I, I would like to uh, uh, would like to say uh, hello to to all the competitors. Um, I can't tell you guys how much I enjoyed listening to your playing uh, and I, so how often I ended up hearing things more than once uh, just because I enjoyed the, 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 the playing, the level was absolutely remarkable, I think. Uh, and I really, really just uh, enjoyed so much uh, listening to everyone. Um, thank you so much for um, joining us for your time today. And we really appreciate your contribution and thank you so much, Andres. Thank you. Thank you, love you guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye. <laughs>
Thank you everyone for your beautiful playing and for sharing your great passion for music with the whole world and with the community of Northwest Arkansas. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Don't forget to vote for your favorite artist before the end of our presentation. I'd like to tell you about our corporate sponsor, CCRS. They have donated all of the awards for today's competition. They're the loveliest group of caring people. They're leaders in the world of retail design and redesign, very important skills in our area because we're home to six Fortune 500 companies and one of them being a Fortune 1 company, Walmart. <laughs> they have employees all over the United States, yet I can tell you every single one of them just like their clients, probably feel like family to them. Jennifer, Ted, Justin, Mike, thank you so much. These are real people behind this very successful enterprise. One of their partners, Jennifer Banks, who consequently has five talented daughters, four of them playing violin. She's made it her business to always seek out ways to enrich the lives of her employees, just like they do in the community. We thank you so much for donating today's awards. Okay, everyone, I am here with our list of winners. I'm so excited to share this with you. We had representation from 10 countries during our competition, and we look forward to seeing next year's winner in lovely Bentonville, Arkansas. But until then, we're gonna stay right here and get started. In fifth place, Mr. Isaac Liu from the United States. Great job. In fourth place, William Johnson, United States. Well done. 
Okay, our third prize recipient and award of $300 goes to Ms. Katarina Auer, Austria. Well done. And our second prize, second place prize, and $600 cash award goes to Mr. Jorge Jimenez Dedo, Spain. Wonderful job. And our first prize, our Crystal Cup Award recipient and award of $1,000 goes to Mr. Joshua Kovac, Tennessee, United States of America. Great job. We're so proud of you. <laughs> you did phenomenal. We want to also tell you the competition was so wonderful this year and each of our finalists will also receive a $100 award of excellence insisted on by our jury. So we want to wish you well, a final farewell. But before we go, we want to encourage you to please like us on social media, Facebook, follow us. And we want to see you next year enter into this competition. We hope that the experience you've had with the Park Knock Conservatory has been a positive one. Please reach out to us. Let's stay in touch. And thank you so much. Congratulations to all of our participants. Congratulations to all of the instructors behind the students. You did an amazing job and we are just so proud of you.